I feel like I should update you guys a little bit. Um, we are in Russia at the moment. We have been here for a month and a half, almost, almost exactly a month and a half. And we came back so that I could receive permanent residency here. I applied um, about six months before, six months before I got it, because that's how long I have to wait. Uh, so I came back to get that, and the way the law works in Russia is if you have been married to a Russian citizen for three years or more, then uh, as soon as you become a permanent resident, you can apply for citizenship. There are uh, other ways to become a citizen here, but that's the way that worked the best for us. Um, and, and I'll talk more about why I want to become a citizen of Russia, um, and sort of what that entails in other videos, but uh, I applied uh, for Russian citizenship. That uh, it went a bit smoother than uh, than I uh, worried. You know, sometimes it takes a while. Like for temporary residency, it took me six tries for them to accept my documents, and for permanent residency, the second time, and for citizenship, the first time they accepted my documents. There wasn't it wasn't completely smooth, but it worked out just fine. So we're going to go back to Canada now. Um, we are literally about to go to the airport. Uh, we bought tickets for nine days after um, after the uh, the day that we bought them, uh, which is maybe a record for me, at least especially if we're flying across the ocean. Um, we uh, hello. <laughs> we yeah, we wanted to get back to Canada as soon as possible um, because for my wife, Eva, to become a Canadian citizen, she needs to live in Canada for three years and they count all the days as opposed to some other country. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back there and stay for six months while my uh, citizenship application here is processing lots of bureaucracy. And then uh, we'll come back so I can uh, become a citizen and uh, get my passport and all that. And uh, that's our, our plan for the moment. And. We are going to be doing some traveling around Canada. It's going to be a bit hectic, uh, but we're going to we're going to take you with us. Uh, we're going to have to buy a car within a few days and uh, head from Nova Scotia to Quebec. So uh, I'll leave it at that for now, and later we'll explain more about what's going on. So we are just getting everything all together now. We have carry on and carry on with the laptops, and then. Uh, one, two, three checked bags. Oh, no plastic bags. Can I have that, please? Give me that. Let go. Let go. Thank you. There you go. So, too many things, it always seems like. But some of it, for example, we're taking some baby food. We got, do we have some extra space, so. And this time we're bringing some, some bread, make some sandwiches. Because last time we got kind of hungry. Very, very long journey. Very, very long journey. We're flying Moscow to um, to Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Toronto, and then Toronto, Halifax. Right? Right. Are you excited to go to Canada? <laughs> it was unexpected. Yes, very, very much. Every time when we go to Canada, I'm very excited. And this will be the first time when I will go to Canada without visa. Without a visa. How? How's that going? As a permanent resident. Hey. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! This is our first plane to Amsterdam. And uh, it seems pretty cozy. Let's see. Can you see anything? Yeah. No. Not very much snow. There should be a lot more snow and a lot colder in Canada, I believe. I'm playing some snake here. This controller. And uh, we just took off from Amsterdam, and we're on our way to Toronto, and it's really nice. Um, they, uh, when we uh, got our seats assigned, we asked if we could be together, and they gave us a uh, center seat free. So, we have uh, three seats for just the two of us. Very, very nice. And this is a two-floor two uh, aircraft. Yeah, there's stairs right there. There's stairs. Very long day, but we are—we made it to our third flight. Yeah. Uh, so we're in Canada, 
Very it was like this was even in my experience it was like the smoothest entry into Canada that I've ever had. So we didn't we didn't even talk to anybody. We just you fill out everything on the uh, computer screen. Like uh, you know, if you have anything, and we actually brought caviar with us this time, so I had to put a yes next to the seafood thing. And the guy was just like, "What do you got? Baby food?" And I was like, "No, we have caviar." And he's like, "Oh, that's fine." He just wrote okay, and that's it. We didn't talk to anybody else. Nobody asked us any questions at all. And they Pretty lost, cool, huh? Uh, one, and they one did one lose day. one of our bags. But not the most fine. important one, but uh, sure? it's not lost. It's just not here. Yeah, it's so we sure. have to go fill out some forms, and they're gonna send it to us, I guess. I wish they would send us some money too, that'd be nice. I wrote that it was worth $200, but I'm not sure. I think it might be worth less, but you never know. Maybe we'll get $200. Maybe they will lose it. Well, lucky you, welcome back. And if it isn't, we hope you enjoy your stay in the Halifax area, wherever your final travel may take you. We can't wait. We finally made it back. Oh my. And Evita was crying a bit on the way back about half the drive, Whoopsie. and she woke up my May. Her grandmother. Oopsie. Hello. Oh. We're back. We're so tired. And nobody's touched our room since we were gone. So everything's just as we left it. Cleopatra slept in it. Oh, uh -huh. you see. After you Dad picked she us up. Here for our one at yeah, one a.m. So that's it. We're we're in Canada. We're in Canada. Yeah, we uh, we actually filmed this video, edited it, and we realized that it's really short and we should probably add a few words, which is something we rarely do. We should probably do more often. What is this? Kleenex on me? Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, we were in Russia for a month and a half and I thought when I filmed the video at the beginning of this video that I probably had filmed something at least while we were in Russia, but I didn't. <laughs> like there was like no clips for a month and a half. Sometimes when you get behind, like you, uh, like you have things already filmed, but you haven't edited them yet. It sort of like kills the motivation to uh, keep filming new content. Um, but these are just uh, lame excuses. Uh, we're here, we're filming a new video and we're happy to do that. We love YouTube and uh, we love, uh, you know, all the opportunities that it gives us and all the people that we meet thanks to YouTube. Um, so uh, during that month and a half in Russia, like, like I said, we did all the documents. I became a permanent resident of Russia. Um, and applied for Russian citizenship. I won't get into all the details um, because, you know, I've thought about even filming videos about how how do you do it. You know, I, I will I will do like some more videos. I think generally about like why I want to become a Russian citizen and uh, things like that. But in terms of like the the real details, there's kind of like no point because they change so much. Like mm -hmm. right after I applied, we just read in the news that there's a new thing where. They want to like get rid of temporary residency and only have permanent residency, and all these rules are going to change, and it's uh, it's constantly changing. So I feel like there's no point in filming the details. Um, so I probably won't. <laughs> but uh, but uh, and you also you need to speak Russian to become a resident in Russia anyway. So it's like um, probably the people that are really interested in that should just be watching the videos in Russian anyway. Because mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, if you don't speak Russian, then you pretty much. Uh, it's pretty, you can't become a Russian uh, resident even, or a citizen, so. Anyway, um, but we thought we would tell you a little bit about our plans, our general plans. So, um, as I mentioned, uh, to become a Canadian citizen, you need to live three years out of the last five. So as soon as you get your three years, like they count every single day, uh, within the previous five years, then you can apply to be a citizen. And so, because Eva is a permanent resident now of Canada, um, we are, thinking about that, we're keeping track of the days and trying to um, trying to get to that point as fast as possible so that you can become a citizen. And um, we, we really would like to travel more in other countries. Um, and I would probably do that more right now, but because of this situation with citizenship, we've decided that we wanna spend more time in Canada now. And But that doesn't mean that we have to sit in one place. So we came up with this idea. What's our idea, why don't you, you say it? So we want to travel through Canada. Yep. To travel in Canada and to visit each province and territory. So Canada has 10 uh, provinces and three territories. And we want to live in each of them. Live, did yeah, I say live, right? Yeah, live, yeah. I have problems with that word. So like at least one month. So just try all parts in Canada and to to just realize what we, what we like more, where we want to, live longer and uh, yeah, just to, to try it 
to try all Canada. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of limitations to that too. And I mean, if we spend like a month in Toronto, then we're not gonna know what it's like in the north of Ontario, for yeah. example. But uh, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. And uh, I just think it's a really um, cool idea in general. And uh, and I think it will be very fun. We've actually sort of already started it. If you follow our Instagram, then you already have a little bit of an idea what's going on. But in the next video, we'll tell you more about the details of what's happened since we got back to Canada, um, because some things have changed pretty quickly. So yeah. um, it's, well, it's exciting. I'm excited to spend more time in different places. Yeah, me too. Uh, there's, so many there's so much diversity in Canada and uh, it's so big. So, um, you know, I, I before I was uh, 18, I think, I'd never been outside of the Maritimes. Mm -hmm. So that's just Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island. And, uh, and at 18, I think, is the first time I went to Quebec. And I've still never been in Newfoundland, so um, yeah. And it wasn't until, like, w with you, you and I, we visited, like, BC. I'd never been to BC before. I'd never been to um, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. And we still haven't been to uh, the territories at all, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. And uh, neither of us, of course, have been to Newfoundland. So there's lots, uh, lots ahead, and we're excited. Our little baby girl is growing and developing very quickly. She's huge. She's uh, she's still not a year old. This uh, this month she'll be a year old, and um, she weighs like almost 30 pounds, I think. Um, <laughs> But she, and she just woke up, so the, she's a little bit sleepy, and she's missing a sock as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, we will tell you how we gonna like. Uh, what's the plan? Like how we how we will where we gonna live? Yep. How we will um, transport? How we're gonna get around? Yeah. Yeah. How we're gonna get around and uh, about finances? So we will we will share with you this information but i think in a future videos yeah mm -hmm. and i don't know do we need to tell something about russia like why what did we do there like nothing special just documents yeah and uh oh, yeah i didn't really yeah we just we spent time with some friends we went to a hockey game, hockey game yeah, khl exactly. which is really cool because it's so cheap and a lot of the guys have played in the nhl before they play in the olympics so it's uh yeah it's um it's nice to go to the hockey games we're in moscow that's about it, really. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. just documents and spending time with friends and family. So it's nice to be back. And of course, New Year's. We were there for New Year's, which was the where well, there was a clip in the previous video or mm -hmm. um, the previous vlog that we posted where um, where we celebrated New Year's. It's the biggest holiday in Russia. So the past well, last year too, we went back for the for the New Year's, right? And uh, anyway, it's nice to go back for New Year's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so flexible. <laughs> so I guess that's it. Yeah. Yep, thank you guys for being with us. Um, for thank, Hello to all the new subscribers. The, there are lots of you. You, you, keep, um, you keep coming, <laughs> and that's very nice. Uh, and if you have any questions for us, let us know in the comments. Like this video, and uh, we will see you soon. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye.